and all my great grandpa can think about is that cow <laughs> and that clown. And what had happened, or more specifically, what had not happened, or, or what had happened that wasn't supposed to happen. And, and he just kept thinking about them, and that cow was just in his mind. And there was this great aerial act that he really enjoyed. He enjoyed the aerial act. And, 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 um, and but he, he, he said he was a little obsessed with the clown and the cow. And, and the circus went on. And then about 25 minutes later, my great-grandpa said that the ringmaster came out at the end of, of a really, really good elephant. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, Bobo and Latania. <laughs> and, and out walked the sad clown pulling the cow by the rope. And they, slowly, they walked out to the center ring. And now my great-grandpa was like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> going to do something amazing. He knew they were, because he couldn't stop thinking about them. And, 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 and they stood there and did nothing <laughs> again. And now my great-grandpa was thinking, it's really weird that people aren't booing and throwing things. Because definitely people would be booing and throwing things at this point. And, 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 and he was realizing, well, he was actually especially surprised that he wasn't booing and throwing things. Because he was exactly the kind of 10-year-old Romanian boy who loved to boo and throw things at bad circus acts. But he was especially amazed at the fact that not only were people not booing and throwing things, but he was glad that they weren't booing or blowing things because he kind of realized he, he, he really liked that cow and he really liked that clown and, 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 and still they did nothing, which was starting to make him feel all kinds of strange things and kind of nervous when suddenly the clown gestured to the cow, bowed, and they walked off. And now my great grandpa was just obsessed. And he just couldn't stop thinking about what, about the cow and the clown. And the circus went on, and, the, and, and, and it was a really good circus, he said. He remembered that distinctly. And, and then he said it got to the end, which is the Grand March. If you know anything about European circuses at this time, the Grand March is like the, the best part of the show. It's, it's the big buildup. All the performers that you've seen and loved all night long get down to on the ring, all the animals, all the musicians, and they make this huge circle and they whip up this giant ruckus because the whole thing is leading up to the best act that the circus has got. The most amazing act that the circus has up its sleeve, something new usually that you've never seen before, something just developed, something so awesome and everyone knows it and this is the big moment and the grand march goes round and round and round and round and people get just whipped up to a fever pitch, yelling and screaming like always, and then the ringmaster comes out, and by this time, my, my great grandpa's even forgotten about the cow and the clown, and, and the ringmaster gets up there and says, ladies and gentlemen, Fogo and Latania! Stunned, dead silence. Shock. Mouths are open. Eyes glazed over. Never have you seen an audience of a circus more stunned and so uncertain, wondering what's going to happen. And what happened was that out walked the clown, pulling the cow by the rope. And they walked right into the center ring and did absolutely nothing again. And now my great grandpa said that his heart was pounding, his heart was racing, he was, he was, he, were the palms of his hands were warm, and, and, and he was just feeling this incredible, because they had to do something. They had to do something, and it had to be amazing. Or people were going to riot and tear that clown and that cow to pieces and tear the whole circus to pieces, and he knew it. And he realized that he really, really didn't want that to happen because, because it was just welling up in his chest and he, he, didn't, he didn't want anything bad to happen to that clown and that cow ever because he, he kind of loved that cow and he kind of loved that clown and he realized he was ready to stand up and fight off the entire audience to a man to protect that clown and that cow and he turned around ready to fight them all off and he saw the exact same emotion mirrored in the faces of everyone around him. Some people were crying 
and some people were laughing, and some people started to cheer and to yell and to clap so hard. And my great grandfather looked down at his hands and he realized that he was clapping. And people began to yell and scream and stomp. And they didn't let that clown and that cow go for 25 minutes. <laughs> they just screamed and applauded and cried. And my great grandfather remembered that his whole life. <laughs> 